Potential energy is easily made kinetic. No potential energy is easily made kinetic. In the field of science called physics, energy is defined as the amount of work that can be done by a force, and a force is defined as anything that can cause movement. The first law of thermodynamics is called the law of conservation of energy and states that energy cannot be created nor destroyed, but rather only transformed or transferred from one form to another. Energy has many forms, including chemical energy, nuclear energy, gravitational energy, thermal energy, mechanical energy, electrical energy, magnetic energy, sound energy, and radiant energy, just to name a few. The different forms of energy can be categorized as either potential energy or kinetic energy. Potential energy is the stored energy possessed by an object at rest. Kinetic energy is the energy an object possesses due to its motion. For example, the gravitational potential energy of a ball on top of a hill is converted to kinetic energy when the ball rolls down the hill. In the electrical context, voltage is electrical potential per unit charge, and current is kinetic energy, the movement or flow of electric charge. Likewise, in the thermal context, temperature is thermal potential and heat flow is kinetic energy, the movement of thermal energy. In the hydraulic context, pressure is fluid potential and fluid flow is the kinetic energy, the movement of the fluid. From these examples, we can see that in the various domains, power, which is the rate at which energy transforms between potential and kinetic energies, can be calculated as the product of potential and kinetic energy metrics. Just as modern science evolved from proto-science, the modern scientific concepts of potential energy and kinetic energy evolve from the proto-scientific concepts of actuality and potentiality. We can go back to trace the origins of the concepts of potential energy and kinetic energy as the dichotomy between actuality and potentiality attributed to the Greek philosopher Aristotle, who is said to have lived between 384 and 322 BC. The philosophical principles of actuality and potentiality were the precursors to the modern scientific concepts of kinetic energy and potential energy, respectively. Aristotle used the principles of potentiality and actuality to analyze motion and causality. As Aristotle is said to have conceptualized it, potentiality referred to any possibility that a thing could have, and actuality, in contrast to potentiality, is the motion, change, or activity that represents a fulfillment of possibility. In the book Stolen Legacy by George G.M. James and African Philosophy, The Pharaonic Period by Dr. Theophile Obinga, evidence is presented describing how many of the philosophies attributed to the Greeks, which served as the foundations of various scientific theories, had their origin and inception as philosophies originally developed by the Africans in ancient Egypt, then known as Kemet. More specifically, the Memphite theology, inscribed on the artifact known as the Shabaka Stone, which describes the Kemetic theology, cosmology, and spiritual science using the symbols of Nun, Ptah, and Atum, is the basis of all important doctrines in Greek philosophy. In older videos on this channel, and throughout the African Creation Energy series of books, we have discussed how the Atomist philosophy, attributed to the Greek philosopher Democritus, was taken from the Kemetic Memphite theology about Atum, Ptah, and Nun and the profound important implications that this has on the discussion of the history and origin of the modern scientific concepts connected to atomism. Another important scientific concept derived from the Memphite theology of ancient Kemet is that of potential energy and kinetic energy. In the book Stolen Legacy, Dr. George G.M. Jane states that the doctrines of Aristotle have all been shown to originate from the Egyptian mystery system. In attempting to prove the existence of God or a first cause by reference to actuality and potentiality, Aristotle simply followed the traditional custom of the ancients, who used the principles of opposites in order to explain the functions of nature. We cannot therefore consider Aristotle's use of the terms actuality and potentiality in the problem of the existence of God as a new method of interpretation. Moreover, in the book, Shabaka Stone by Kaaba Hiawatha Kameni on page 53 it states, Pata is symbolized by a primordial hill. Pata is energy conversion. Pata converts the energy at rest, potential energy within noon, into energy in motion, kinetic energy. Pata's divine purpose is to make the essences, materu, go from potentiality to actuality, energy at rest to energy in motion. And thus, we have the kinetic origin of the concepts of kinetic energy and potential energy symbolized by Pata and Nun respectively in the Memphite theology inscribed on the Shabaka stone. Nun, as the primordial abyss, is described as inert and inactive, i.e. potential energy. 
and Patar rising from noon is an action, is a motion, is movement, the conversion of potential energy into kinetic energy. In fact, Patar is symbolized as the primordial mound or primordial hill, and the hill imagery is still used in modern science textbooks to teach and describe the concepts of potential energy and kinetic energy in science classes today. The relationship between kinetic energy and power is further illustrated in the kinetic symbolism with Patar being the consort to Sekhmet, whose name comes from the comedic word meaning power. Comedic kinetic energy can be scientifically defined as the work, effort, endeavors, and activities of comedic people and comedic information that causes a movement or change, and this video radiates comedic kinetic energy to be absorbed by the black body.